Viewers, good luck India has unveiled plans to foray into defense uh, business as well with a focus on increasing uh, the, the, the share from that aspect and I would reckon that would also mean that it's a, it, it's, it's, it's a business with probably better internal metrics than what their existing businesses might be. That's a presumption on my part, but I think it's best to get in Mr. S.C. Gert to try and tell us uh, what are his thoughts around this. Mr. Gert, great having you. Thanks so much for oh, taking the time you. out. Now, uh, for the uninitiated, uh, tell us what your business is about because when I look at your website, it says it's a group founded by IIT alumni with 37 years of experience. You specialize in manufacturing and exporting a diverse range of products as well. You were established about three decades ago. Yes. Please tell us. Look, I have been in the job for a long time, but I have done my engineering from IIT. I worked overseas with a multinational company and came back. And I started this business in 87 when there was an opportunity for making pipes. There was a big demand for irrigation pipes. We started in 87. All over there was a shortage of water supply. So we started this. But soon we realized that this is not a business to sustain for long. It's a no technical barrier. Anybody can manufacture. Anybody can supply. Raw material in plenty. So we started entering into a technical field. Like we started in forging. Started in auto tube. And started in infrastructure. I would say in auto tube attracted me most. At auto tube, what we are doing, we have started doing 2008 with a very small turnover. Today we are doing almost uh, roughly 8,000 tons. We are putting up a plant in Sikandrabad itself with highly technical tubes, which are hardly few plants in the world. Few plants only. In India, only uh, one or two plants are there with all quality control. Very few plants can quality check and quality assurance. In NDT, UT, MRI. Testing to that extent is, people call tube. Tube is a generic name. Tube, anything for supply of fluid is tube. Yes. But supplying tube is not a tube. It's an engineering component. Geometrically, technically, and materially different. Mm. And I take pride in it that we enjoy one of the most reputation world over. 65% of this is exported to most developed countries like US and Europe. Okay. And in this, we specialize, we have entered into this area of large diameter, thick wall tube, which will replace seamless pipe. It will be cheaper. It will replace the box section which people are using in construction industry. We will supply them the tubes. Then these are tubes used on construction equipment. You see the long hydraulic tube, hydraulic cylinder tube, which we'll be making. This will make us one of the exclusive suppliers. And the product which we are making, we are reputed by all the buyers for our consistency and commitment and quality. Okay. And so much so, we ensure that we timely deliver 10,000 kilometers away from here. And many times, sometimes we fail. We take it to supply by air, the steel. Wow. And that, that, is, that is what we take. I, my whole management team, my son is from IIT, my younger brother is also from IIT. We control the operation. Otherwise, it is managed professionally. Okay. Yeah. Samit, when you thought of this business, I mean, is this similar to structural steel tube companies that are there or do they do something completely different according to you? Yeah, actually there is, uh, there is very little linkage. There is, uh, you know, the, the kind of customers, uh, the kind of technology which go, goes into it is very different. Uh, so it may sound like the same, but it's completely different. Okay. I would compare them with maybe tube investments and the forging, uh, you know, uh, part of it because some of their... Uh, some part of their business is related to forging, you know, which is something that would help them in the defense business. Whereas the pipes business is very precision. It goes to the most complex, uh, you know, usages uh, versus like a mass usage. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like to add. Please. We, were, we came into anti-dumping from US. And today we are one of the most preferred suppliers. We have been adjusted duty has little less than 1% of anti-dumping. Compared to our other exporter from here, we are the most preferred supplier, most economic supplier, I would say. Hmm. Okay, great. Uh, so, Mr. Mr. M. C. Gard, please tell us uh, what is 
What is it that you've done in the last two, three years in terms of the business? I mean, we, I mean you told us how you've come through the evolution of your company. What's happened in the last two, three years, let's say post-COVID? And what are your plans for growth and, and the nature of growth, let's say, over the next three to five years? I can tell you, the first thing I'll tell you, I believe personally, what is business? Opportunity. Sorry? Opportunity. Sure. Opportunity is business. I could see an opportunity coming mm. in defense. We try to seize the opportunity. We are at the bottom of the defense supply chain. India is opening up. And we found it most prudent to enter into defense. We were doing for last five years. We were in Britain, Whitney has approved us as a supplier for aerospace. We are, we are approved by DRDO. We are supplying them for last five years. You know, approval procedure, prototype making takes time. And now we have come off. The, some of the exclusive material we are forging already. We are supplying. We are doing only two, three tons a month. Now we have come to 40 tons a month. It is going to be game changer. We are not doing general forging. No, we are not doing. We are doing only quality forging. We are supplying to them and we want to ramp it up to 100 tons from the existing plant. And the new plant which we are putting up, artillery and other components of defense will put up, which will take around two years to garner. And this will give us high value addition, big margin, and I am surprised myself. I never imagined when I started it that so much of interest overseas buyer will show in me. We are almost getting support from everywhere. And in the hydraulic uh, auto component which I was telling, so many people want to buy the total production from us and we have entered into an agreement with one of a very reputed buyer from USA and trading company, Warren Buffett company, that they will buy entire quantity for supply to Canada, USA and Mexico. Okay. Uh, Samit, do you have questions for Mr. Gard? Yes, I mean, um, uh, I probably just have, you know, one question. If we have time, I can, you know, ask, ask more. Uh, Mr. Gard, you know, one thing which uh, stands out, you know, when, when someone looks in depth into your company is the kind of technology, the kind of you know, intellectuality that, that, that you have. But somehow there is a disconnect between the kind of margins, I think the potential that you can make, you know, which is not much different. So if you look at your return on capital, it's good, but not as good as what, you know, one would imagine with the technology that, that, that you have, as well as the margin that you have. So how can you improve? I, I, I'm seeing it that it's improving uh, slowly, but if you can give some... Uh, I'll give you insight. Yes. Sorry. You're perfectly right. I agree with you. Yeah. Because a major chunk, 40% of production is low value added. What we started with in 87, we have, been, we have not discontinued. Yeah. We appreciate your concern. Sure. And at the same time, I'm seized of the problem. Not that I'm ignoring it. We are trying to improve that low value addition into high value addition, a sunrise sector like solar, we have introduced. Recently, we have started doing sunrise sector like uh, road building, yeah. road safety. We have entered into a joint venture agreement with one of the most reputed company of Europe who are supporting us. We were not exporting it. None is exporting. We have started exporting those products. I think over a period of time, the low value addition, what you see a difference, that margin should improve. And over a period of time, say one year or one and a half year, you see our EBITDA margin improving continuously. With product coming from defense, you will see big difference coming. With our new plant uh, of auto getting on the stream and ramping up capacity in the next one year, you will see a big difference. And you will find continuous improvement in our EBITDA. I can assure you that. So means we have time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, other, uh, I think other uh, room for improvement for you is the working capital cycle. I know that a lot of uh, sort of structural steel, steel companies have reduced their working capital cycle, you know, uh, significantly. Whereas, if you can do that, it will also have an impact on your return on capital. You know, something. Absolutely, absolutely. I have been myself considering a lot. Why not have a debt-free capital? No, no debt at all. So working capital improves, but. As, a, as we try to do value addition, mm -hmm. the proceed becomes slow. The working capital cycle increases. We have to now upgrade, do good bottlenecking in the plant. Yeah. As I did not mention, but I'm mentioning the uh, 
QIP, which is coming next, uh, we will do a lot of bottlenecking to improve our processing faster, to improve our working capital cycle. Sure. It's a challenge to the management, and we are capable of doing it, but it may take some time, but it will improve. I get that. Sure. Okay. Uh, are there yes. any numerical targets, uh, both in terms of uh, where you would want to see or where you would believe your margins, example, as Samit asked, would be like? Where is it that you would want your return ratios to look like? And by what time? Even the working capital cycle. I, I, one thing is to know that there is a problem. The second thing is to try and figure out by when do you come out of it and where do you reach proposed targets? Are there any internal targets on any of these? Yes, absolutely. We want to improve our EBITDA margin by next one year to say, continue, it should continuously improve. Of course. And we want to aim at 9.5, which from, is running at 8.3%. Uh, yes, 8.3%. Uh -huh. We want to commit to within two years 9.5 and subsequently increase to uh, double figure. Okay. And our turnover, which is running at 3,100 3, last year, should go to 3,500 this year, 4,000 4, next year, and 4,500 by year next. And I have a aim to make it a billion dollar company maybe in four years time. Okay. That is my aim. Well, that, that's a quantum jump if you want a billion dollars in four years, but by FY26, you are reaching about 45. We have been, uh, no, maybe I'm over optimistic. You can call me over optimistic. You can definitely uh, record it and confront me after four <laughs> years that you said. So, but I'm saying without hesitation. We have been growing since 1919, 1920, almost at the rate of 17-20%. Hmm. And we want to continue to grow. Fortunately for us, my product profile gives me enough confidence. We need not look for any other sector. We can keep on growing. Okay, but, but uh, defense would play a part here. How big would the defense opportunity defense, be? Defense, uh, compared to my total volume, it will go to 10% or 15%. By next year, you think? By, not next year. FI26. By, by, by next two years. Sure. But the addition of margin will be much better than what I'm having. Even in auto tube, it will be better than that. Okay. Um, Samit, maybe you have more questions too, but I had one more question, which is Please. on the fundraise, right? There is, a, uh, there is uh, the 200 odd crores, if I'm not wrong. Uh, You're absolutely right, right, approximately. Approximately. So are these being utilized to expand the newer business opportunities? And when do these capacities come on stream? When do they start contributing to your numbers? Look, this uh, major part of it will be used to enhance my working capital. Okay. Intensity of working capital, the borrowing from the bank will reduce. Intensity of that will reduce. That will, in any case, improve my margin. Hmm. That's the first purpose. And part of the fund will be used for de bottlenecking and streamlining my finishing. And some of the fund will be used for the new project of the defense, what we are doing. Okay, so the de-bottlenecking coupled with the fact that I believe you have a plant coming on stream in Q1 FY25. Yes, yes, yes. So all of that aids uh, numbers in FY25 at the very least and certainly in FY26. FY25 should reflect. Okay. It should reflect. It will reflect. Not it should, it will. Okay, fair call. Samit, any other questions? No, I mean, uh, would be wonderful to understand the defense business because it's, I think, one of the exciting opportunities that, that, that you have. And you've been working with them for the last uh, five years. What, if you can give color on like what kind of, you know, products or maybe uh, any direction in which, you know, you would be able if to participate. If you permit me not to mention the product, I'll be, I will thank you. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. But okay. mostly, at, as of date, okay. artery equipments okay. are much in demand, the world over. Okay. Recent, only yesterday, there were three overseas visitors in my factory. Hmm. Three overseas. Okay. One from Russia, one from Germany, one from NATO. And the local exporter was tracking us every minute. Oh. So it's but not just the India government opportunity, but also overseas. Overseas that you're But ultimately to export any defense capable equipment, we need government intervention. We will have to get approved and a license. For that we will need domestic help. Okay. We are aware of it. Okay. Uh, I heard you say that you have been approved by Pratt & Whitney, if yes. I'm not wrong. Uh, yes. How, how does that piece move? Because I understand those this permissions for, uh, come... Uh, aerospace. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. I understand those uh, approvals come with a bit of a lag. Very few suppliers get it worldwide as well. So 
how big could that opportunity be as well? Look, so far it has been a very mini, of course. miniature, mm -hmm. but we are working on it. We are supplying parts to HAL. Once the part get approved, get tested, we are going to get a big opportunity. We were doing only hardly one and a half ton to two tons a month of exotic material which is supplied from some supplier in U Europe. And that material comes on priority. It is not that I just pay money and buy, no. Sure. It will come under quota. And we have started getting 35 to 40 tons a month. We expect in two, three years time, it will be ramped up to uh, almost 100 tons a month. Okay. The unit price is 4 lakh rupees a kg, ton. Again, the price of 30. So higher value, higher value addition. We are not very big, not volume wise, but quality wise, and we are much better than many others. Is, is there a technological moat that you have around yes, the products? Yes, that you're yes, yes, yes. So there is All a moat which nobody else can penetrate first. Yes, se. yes. Okay. The penetration level, the technology and skill involved are very different than what normally plant will have. Okay. Um, before we wrap up this conversation, Samit, I want you to come in and opine on this. Uh, yes. We've heard multiple other companies which are supplying to global defense, global aerospace products. Yeah. Yeah, there was Dynamatic which was saying the same thing, that the, the whole ecosystem in India yeah. uh, will now benefit because global suppliers or global companies are sensing that they want to procure more and more from India because of the technological edge that Indian companies have yeah. and, and eventually the cost uh, factors that come into play as well. Does this kind of sound a bit like that? Because you would have spoken to multiple other yeah. companies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, see, I've been tracking this sector for the last, what, 15 years now. And they're disappointed uh, a lot because, you know, government started this offset, you know, 30%. And uh, there were a lot of exciting companies even then, you mm -hmm. know, in 2006, 7, 8. And none of them really delivered over the long run because the government policies kept on, kept on, uh, uh, you know, changing, and the execution never, never really happened. You know, government kept on, kept on importing uh, defense equipments. At least now it seems it's real. The government is, you know, making sure that even if there is a foreign, you know, supplier, he would come in and set up a factory here. So I think if you can see that in electronics, in semiconductors, in uh, defense, this time it seems more real. And the size of the companies that you know, you're dealing with, you know, even like uh, Good Luck, is so small that the opportunity size for them is humongous. Even if they get 1% of that pie, you know, it, it, can, it can be a huge game changer you know, for them. I think that's what I'm seeing. And again, you know, it's all about at what valuation are you getting it at. And if I was paying 100 times multiple for and such an opportunity, it was you know, meaningless. Uh, but, you know, it's all about also the entry point. In, in and that's a very valid point as yes. well. Yes. Great. Yes. Samit, uh, firstly, Mr. Garak, thank you so much for coming in from Delhi uh, for this conversation and really appreciate you explaining your company to us. All the best for the times ahead. Thank you, sir. No, no, the thank pleasure. You. Please call me needed. And uh, Samit, I take a moment to thank you for joining us on uh, our opening week and giving us such wonderful thoughts and uh, questioning the management of good luck as well. No, no, absolutely my, my, my pleasure. I mean, uh, just as a disclaimer, you know, I'm invested uh, in it. It was, you know, uh, disclosed. So of course, you know, I'm an interested uh, uh, party. I've gone wrong many times. It's always possible that I can go wrong in, in this. Most but you will not go wrong. I get <laughs> <it>. <laughs> but I can see the potential, you know. So any investor, you know, who uh, may be keen also needs to be very... Sir, you know, as you rightly said, this is a beginning. Defense. Can I sure. keep on me? Yeah, sure. Sir... U.S. was the principal supplier to the world, the defense equipment. U.S. has become so expensive. We will be the cheaper alternative to U.S. <laughs> to supply who needs the equipment, okay. who needs armament. We will be, in the next decade, will be the next supplier to U.S. Uh, wish you all, all the best for that. Uh, wish all the companies yeah, all the best for that. That is, what I, that is what I conceive. That is what I foresee. Okay, great.